Hi everyone, this is Matt from Soft Solutions. Today with a look at custom templates with 3CX. So this is a little bit out of the box, but we've been covering it off uh, fairly frequently lately, as custom templates are a way to add a bit more uniqueness to our provisioning with 3CX. And custom templates are especially handy when we want to hard code specific settings that aren't supported outside of the box as well as having custom templates for phones that may be undergoing interop with 3CX but may not have fully undergone the interop at that point in time but there are templates available for the phones to be used with 3CX so there's a few key things when it comes to custom templates with 3CX so when creating one it is always recommended to take an existing template and make a copy of it. We never want to replace a template that's built into the system and the reason behind that is if something breaks with the settings that we put in we want to be able to have a supported template to be able to fall back on. This is especially important when you're seeking support if something's not working with 3CX and you need to go through the official support channels they will request for you to use a official template with the device in question to make sure it's working so duplicating a base template we do this from within the management console under settings and templates we select the default template that the model is that we're wanting to set from the drop down we click the copy button and give it a new name and we want to give it a meaningful name to make sure we're able to identify it correctly. When making changes to templates as well, we also do need to reset the management console service. This is important because when the service is restarted, it will allow for the new template to be found and indexed within 3CX so we can actually go and use it correctly. And there's a few general rules of thumb when it comes to using these. Now, when creating these templates, we want to make sure that we avoid duplicates of the same instruction. We don't want phones getting confused with the configuration that's been generated. When looking to create custom templates, Vendors typically have all the answers. 3CX support will not help with custom templates as they are untested. So whether it's Yearlink, Grandstream, Snom, Fanville, the vendors all know what settings the templates need to include. So they are a very good information source for getting those settings. When we're setting values as well, if something doesn't work, do not delete the value. Just set it back and this again sort of ties back to not deleting or overriding the original template because it does give us a good base to work from. Never alter the UA, so UA stands for user agent and user agent of a phone is basically the way it identifies itself and that's how the template will set the correct settings against the model in question. Again, the IP phone vendor will have all the information for their provisioning settings. Settings differ per provider. I recently wrote a blog post on this. And as an example, for instance, Yearlink has a specific syntax they use with their custom templates, whereas Grandstream have a p-value based system for assigning these values. The 3CX forums are an excellent resource as well for getting assistance here, whether it's for custom templates or anything to do with 3CX. The 3CX community is very active and very helpful, so definitely recommend checking that out. Of course, remembering to restart the management console so we can get the changes in the system. And importantly, when setting this template against a phone we want to make sure ideally that the phone is in a blank state so whether it's factory new or factory reset to make sure that everything has been set correctly and remembering all phones using the template will update to the changes within the next 24 hours 
So let's have a look at what this looks like within 3CX itself. So under the management console, under settings, and then going to templates. By clicking the drop down box, we can see the supported templates within 3CX. So these supported templates are actually tested by 3CX themselves. They are the ones that they support. And if you're ever looking to their official support channel, these are the templates that they will request that you use. Any phones on the 3CX website that are listed as supported will have a template here. And we can see we've got quite a few of them. Our 3CX here in house at SoftSoul we have worked with the templates uh, a fair bit. I used to write some of the Grand Stream templates myself. So we have a few entries in here. But let's look at the Grand Stream one today. So templates in 3CX are basically in XML markup. We can see we've got a few key details here. So we've got a version date, so vendors are very diligent when it comes to actually updating this as to the date and time of creation of the template. We can see this is from the 29th of June. Templates, of course, are always being updated, and you can get that from the update section of the management console. Next up, we have the UA, which we mentioned before, which is the user agent. So here, in the case of Grandstream, we can see we've got support for the 2170, the 2160, 2140, and so on and so forth. Then we've got a few values around languages that are supported and ringtones. Typically, you won't actually edit any of this first block of a 3CX template, because it is critical that these work. We've got some time zone information here as well. around BLFs and then we get into a few if statements for the template to actually select the correct phone and quite a lot of values in here so again this can be quite intimidating when you first get started with setting up templates so definitely look into the online resources for what these values are here at soft solutions we've had a decent amount of experience with setting these um, and as an example something that's quite common uh, with setting up phones is sometimes and this will depend especially with 3cx with the dns servers that have been set but sometimes if you're using something like cloudflare uh, with their 1.1.1.1 it may give the phone an idea that's maybe located in the US or something like that and of course here especially in New Zealand we like to have our units of measurement in metric so we have the ability in here to actually come in and define specific locations and I definitely recommend checking out our soft solutions blog for more information on this and we can see here we've got the ability to designate what the default unit supported is within the phone so there's definitely a few things that can be changed in here so when we go to actually make these changes we select our template as we saw in the previous documentation and we create a copy we give it a meaningful name so in this case and the is just uh, one word, no spaces or anything like that. So, grand stream YouTube video for a custom name. And we can see now that that has propagated, and this is the template version that we would edit. After we had finished our edits, we would click save. And then if we were to add a new phone, we would add a phone. We would select the extension that it would be set against. We would choose our template. So again, the first templates that are populated are the official support of 3CX ones. But if we scroll down, scroll, 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 scroll. scroll. 
scroll, scroll, scroll. You can see here we've got the template here uh, that we've just created and it is per model so you will need to select the model and the specific template. We'd click OK, we'd give it a MAC address number which ideally would actually be the phone that is sitting there to be set up. We would actually enter in a correct MAC address and then we could go ahead and provision it. After that had been set, the phone will receive its configuration file and then any custom settings that we have set will be provisioned to the phone. So custom templates, they can be a little bit intimidating. For any queries around them, I strongly recommend checking out our Soft Solutions blog. The 3CX blog is an excellent resource as well and of course you can reach us at voip at softsoul.co.nz for any of your template queries.